Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fablehame and our beloved governor's ascension through the Jin dynasty. We resume exactly where we left off with a bit of a puzzling situation. Now, obviously, Sima Wei has descended upon our territory with a fury. I believe these are the only two armies that he has, because over on this side, he's getting smacked around a little bit. Unfortunate for him. And we have a choice. We are stuck between a very important choice. Option one is to peace out with Sima Wei. He quite desperately wants peace, as you can see. And then what would happen? Well, the only person actually war with him that would dislike this is Sima Lun. I thought in the last episode that Sima Liang and Sima Ai were at war with him so that our allies would kind of be upset with us for ditching them in the war effort. But it turns out that is not the case. So, yeah. And then, of course, if we did this, we would peace out with Sima Wei, Yuan, Shongzhen, and Sima Mo. And we would currently have the only enemy of Sao Huan, who is way over here somewhere. Right there. Which we obviously couldn't reach. So we'd sit around for like five-ish turns while we cancel treaties with the north, Yu Yingshu and Jiang Shangli, and then go north and kind of claim the scraps of territory up here. And that sounds to me like a pretty good idea, even though waiting around is not exactly the most exciting thing to watch. However, Sima Wei has something very important to us, and that is the trade port, for two reasons. First of all, we need the entrepreneurs for the Jade Trading Village, and this will allow us to resume trade with the Jin Empire. So I think what's going to happen is we are going to uh, we're going to commit to a full offense against Sima Wei. And take as much as possible with maybe a little bit of uh, scorched earth strategy involved. Oh look, this army finally moved. It's been four episodes? Very impressive. So Sima Xiang would like to become would like us to become his vassal. Now what this would do is also make us peace out with Sima Wei, but 5,000 gold is enough for that. Now that was 5,000 gold a turn. I would be interested. You would have my ear. But no, not just 5,000 gold. So that is the plan. We've lost the toolmaker and probably going to lose the city here. The Jin Empire signed peace with Mao Ren. Beyond Pingzhu signed peace with Zhu Ruo. We have, oh my goodness. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this. But that is our new search that is completed. We have the finest armor. What was it? It was Spirit of the First Artist. Wow. Charge reflect own retinue. Shishao. I must refuse. Wait, do you have your own unique armor? Okay, this don't this has nothing on spirit of the first artist. Charge reflect. That is amazing. And it's a part of the set perfection. Sovereign of the blades. I have no idea what that is. But 10% range, block chance, own retinue. Also amazing. This would be an act of treachery. So severe. But here's what I'm thinking. We have our little army here that isn't the greatest. Embrace impulse. I don't actually know who we should put in for the third one. Obviously, it would be nice if we could have another vanguard or a commander. We're a little low on those at the moment. Who is this vanguard? Fa Yi. He's willing to spy for us. He's from the faction Fan Zhou. He's energetic. Ooh, I like that. Fiery and kind-hearted. Wow. What a great thing to be. I actually like this guy a lot. Can I recruit him? I can. There we go. Another vanguard. Of course, he can be a little upset for a little bit. Yeah, but he doesn't have the, uh, the red traits that penalize lower faction rank. Lower court rank. And, of course, that was our quest that I completely forgot about. 
Shi Sheng is now happy. Income from industry faction wide. Does that stack or do we just have now two of those? Oh, it stacks in duration. Excellent. As you can invoke council in four turns. Well, I said it, didn't I? Burning bridges. Well, not burning bridges, but scorched earth. Do I even go for the trade port or just go straight south? I think I have to go for the trade port. No. It just reactivates so many things. Now, there's something else I want to do. We don't have the money at the moment, but I want to spawn Gu Yan Yan and increase her retinue strength because I'm a little afraid for Wu Du. Just a little bit. And by a little bit, I kind of mean a lot of it. Uh, I would like more trade agreements, but no one's willing to trade for us. Or with us. Yay. Ooh. Pearl Dragons. Heavy G Infantry. I like that. Sure. Kind of just going down the list. Becoming Grand Prince is not the easiest task in the world. Hanzhong is besieged. Sorry, can't do anything about that. We just have to wait. Wait and make our money. I'm concerned. Mao Ren would like a non-aggression pact. He's willing to give me money. I kind of need money. Everything for the war effort. You were at war with... Alright, fine. This is happening. I, tr I put this off, I think. I remember now. You know, I'll take your 1400 or Whatever it was. It was like, I don't remember, 14, 50, 60? Sure, this. Thank you. That should give me enough to spawn Gu Yan Yan. I'll probably just put a bunch of Axe Infantry in her retinue. Sima Wei command the vassal Yu on Shang Zhen to join the war against Sima Jiong. Sima Jiong vassalized Zhu Ruo. Oh. So now the Jin Empire is not... Oh, we can we can uh, snag them. Mao Ren signed peace with Zhu Ruo. Sima Wei requested Sima Jiong to go to war. Gu Zhen declared war on the Jin Empire. Uh-oh. Our spire is returning because he fails at life. Yeah. Kind of happens. All right. Hold the center. Rise, Gu Yan Yan. Prepare my chambers. I think we're just putting in a bunch of these. Why is the recruitment cost higher? I don't know. But I don't like it. Two of these. Two of these. Good? Good. My lord, I hope all is well. It is. Goodbye. <laughs> all right. To enlightenment. I think we're going into Force March now because we aren't replenishing. Marshal your reserves. I should have gone into Force March last turn. Uh, mistakes made. We're going to lose this. The army disappeared, but it's not coming for me. I shall not waver. It's garrison. Ooh, pretty good garrison. I forgot Shizu is here. I'm glad you're here, Shizu. I really am. All right, can we check real quick for anything? Anything at all. We can, but there isn't anything. See, my loon would like military access. Are you the poor one? You are. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jin. Empire. Is all alone. All right. He's not interested in it, but everyone else is. I can't convince them, can I? Maybe Simi Leung will be able to pull him in. Maybe. Is there anything we can give you? This is very good armor that I want. But how much money could I get by trading it? I wonder. Out of curiosity, I'm not going to sell it. But how much is it worth? Only nine? That'd be worth more. Anyway. Give me money. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This is what I needed. I needed this in my life. 
Oh, is that making you happier? Fine. I'll take you for everything you're worth, Jin. Everything. Here we go. You don't need any food or anything. I don't have any ancillaries. We could give him a territory. No, we couldn't. All right. Good. No, 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 no. I am obliged to you for giving me so much money. And probably with Juro. He's only at war with Sima Yan. Oh, this isn't very... This does not interest him much. What about a non-aggression? A little bit. You do have a sizable amount of money, my friend. I'm okay with an aggression here. Where even are you? I should probably know that before I click this. Well, I don't know. It is making Sima Zhiyong happier, which is good news to me. Now let's try 990. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take it. Thank you. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm in dire need of money. Soon. We do have enough. Where is our vanguard? We do not. We will next turn, but we might not need to even put him in. We might be fine. Next Wisdom turn, guide. the trade port. I hope. Ah, here goes Han Zhang. Are you going for Wudu? Oh, you're going for Han Zhang Silk Trader. You're going to brave the mountain pass. That's fine. I told you. Scorched Earth. What would actually make me really happy is if I could convince... Zhang Zhongli to join the war against Sima Wei. A lean year. The Minister of Finance must not make any exceptions for missed tax payments, and so this too goes for his officials in the commanderies. A village claims to be unable to pay its household tax, citing poor harvest, yet law is law. What is to be done with them? What local commandery is the question? Chengdu. This is fine. Let them off. Nope. Make them sell their homes. We could technically do that and conscript them. What are we looking at? 25 out of 50. 112 under 50. This is reducing satisfaction quite a bit. Cultivator of opinions. It is kind of true to real life that Cultivating opinions reduces everyone's satisfaction. Alright, we'll do that. Make them sell the harvest. There is no avoiding tax. They must pay, even if they must oversell their harvest to do so. Why is that a mind alignment? Hmm. Don't know. But I'm done asking questions. Please let me reach it. Sima U8? Oh no. Why? Is this the only territory that you own? Their domain needs to expand before they can offer lands beyond their capital commentary. You are allies with Sima Lun, Sima Yong, and Sima Xiong. Oh my goodness. Who are you at war with? Sima Wei. I know you're kind of busy taking all of my territory, but could you kill this guy? Please. Consider and act. Alright. I'm done playing around. This is upsetting. Oh boy. Alright. It's time to slay. Do I pull him in? Nurture passion. Can't even afford the tiny cav. I think we need one turn of mustering bonus. Oh. 
So hefty. Do we have any things for you? Uh, yeah. Not really. You want to fish? I don't think you need a fish. Shishung is decked out. Stone axe. Oh yeah, you're using it. Duh. Well, we're about to lose some, t some territory, but it'll be fine. You know, it's all for the greater good. Or something. Embrace impulse. Just you have a little bit of movement left. Go this way. Oh my goodness. Never mind, go this way. Always forwards. How do I get over here? I think this is a road. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go this way. Do not Take this. What cannot be done. We could even like come from behind and reinforce, but I think we just go full aggression. Full aggro. Take everything he owns. I'm tired of dealing with you, see my way. Oh, and he's going straight for Wudu too. You'd like me to join war against Sima Ai or Fan Zhou. Okay, why aren't you offering me anything for this, brother? Do you like fish? Fish are pretty cool, you know. Ooh, that's prom. This is promising. All right. <laughs> I like how I add just a tiny bit, and he's like, never! I am offended! The only person who isn't going to like this is Fanjo. Probably because we're going to war with them. Sure, why not? I don't care. Fanjo is really far in the south. I don't even know why he asked me. Oh well. The AI has done stranger things. Sima Wei requested Cao Huan to join their war against Sima Yue. Good. Sima Ying. Sima Ying joined war against Sima Ai. Sima Yue requested Sima Yong to join their war against Sima Mo. And <laughs> Sima Wei liberated Sima Mo. Sima Chi declared war on the Jin Empire. Xi Biao, Ren, Yang Ping. It's always fun to see the AI drop their vassals like hotcakes. Like a hot potato. Now this... Concerns me. Impossible. I said that already, but it concerns me a lot. Point forwards as one. Oh, I don't have any catapults. Trebuchets, even. It's fine. For China. Oh, we're gonna lose so much money. We do have one assignment. Income from peasantry. Ooh. Silk. She has a ton of peasantry, so here you go. That's actually a very good use for you. Speaking of Bashi, let's put this in. Chung An, yeah, I know, you have a, a thingy. Chung Du, do we put this in? Let's put it in the inn first. Oh, this also gives noble support. Increased character experience. Let's look at this blue line. Character experience is pretty good. The marketplace loses noble support? Really? Ho oh, ho. We can really go crazy with silk. If we have plenty of noble support, of course. Let's just put in an in for now. Although we don't have any commerce. It's fine. We'll work on it. Diversify our income. Nia is going for Wudu. Decisive defeat. 25% chance that she's captured. Oh, I'm sorry. Please no be captured. She's dead! No! Sima Yong would like a non-aggression pact. And I pay him money. No. He's a grand prince already. Wow.
Hmm. You executed her? Oh, it's on, Simoe. We have lost the town of Wuju. Simoyong commanded vassal Suo Yingming to join the war. We have given birth. Sima Ying and Zhong Li Zhu have another child, Sima Jun. Military logistics. Oh. -ho. Sima Yin. Hello. Hello, brother. You kind of bounced all over the place. You were your own faction for a little bit. You do have some pretty good administrator stuff. Unfortunately, I'm a little busy at the moment. Who are you? <laughs> Sima I. I might pick her up. And it's not just because we need another sentinel. It's kind of because we need another sentinel. Let's take a look at our new recruit. Where is she? Hello? Oh, Dash, she's down here. Shen Yueyan. Oh, look at that. She already has the administrator thingies. Good. Welcome aboard. Hopefully, I won't get you killed like your compatriot. Invoke the council. Overpopulation. Good. Another settlement one. Ugh. All right, see my way. I've had enough. I've had enough of your crap. Strike now! Time to take everything he owns. Cunning triumphs over brute force. Let us make use of it. He really stepped on a landmine by executing Gu Yan Yan. Stay fixed. Bring the spirit. None of them will live. If you harm my people, due. let the wine flow. You will Our regret it. Grows. It grows. And soon it will consume the world. We probably want to wait on the administrator thing before we capture either Han Shang or Wu Du again. Impossible. In all Lumberyard? Things, show nah, hold off. Try upgrade this here. Actually. Shang An is still mad at me. Any quick diplomatic options before we continue to ravage Sima Wei? Our trade is suspended with Yu Ying Shu because of that person. Ooh, Sima Chong. What up, bro? Yes. Do you have any ancillaries? Actually. No. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to take all the money that you have. That's all. Alright. Obviously, a thousand was a long shot. I'm aware of that. Ooh. But 350. How much can I get right now if, I, if it's like 250? Then immediate payment. I was going to be pretty happy if it was 2,000. Quick maths. I think this is worth it, actually. Again, I said quick maths, so... It could not be. 3, 7, 60. Perfect. And this makes Sima Hai, Sima Leung, and Sima Shon happier. And the trade itself is worth 458. Good. Sima Xiong wants non-aggression, but he probably wants crap for it. Let us continue on our rampage. Revenge for Gu Yan Yan. Sima Wei. He's taken everything I own in the mountains. I needed that, bro. You can flee to your town. You can flee to your armies. I don't... I kind of want this, actually. But there is no escape from my ire. Sima Yue, you better not freaking take my cities. I will kill you. Actually, no, I won't. You're in alliance with a lot of people. Sima Yang requested Sima Ai to join the war against Bai Jin. He lost the copper mine. Sima Xiong commanded the vassal Juru to join the war against Sima Xian. Sima Liang vassalized Yu Yingshu. Uh-oh. 
Uh, SpaghettiOs. I want to kill him so bad, but I can't. Conserve spirit. Deep breaths. Patience. Remain sharp. But if you take any of my crap, see my way. Attack. Give me everything back. Righteousness won today. Everything you've taken from me. For our labors. Forced migration. Your general reports that swift colonization of the recently annexed territory will be crucial to our prosperity. With many of our people keen to seek residency in the newly acquired lands, he advises that we help speed up the migration process by sending out the military to organize and mobilize the masses. Well, I can't really make an informed decision, but I think we're going to ignore it. You had more important matters to attend to. The people migrated on their own terms and at their own risk. Unfortunately, we need the replenishment here. That was more my concern. I'd love to give you a cataphracts. Just one. Just one. This is... 720. Haha! <laughs> I mapped it out. Like I said, the title of this video? Cataphracts. Wait, no, that was the last one. The last one was titled Cataphracts. Maybe the whole series should just be called Cataphracts. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. My silk! Oh. You have no idea how hard I worked for that. His army is a little terrifying, actually. Yeah, that's right. You better leave. Sima Mo. Aren't you... Oh, yeah. Sima Wei dropped you like a hot potato. That's funny. I'm actually not against piecing out with you. Oh, you want it badly. Sure. I probably shouldn't... Do you need celeries? No. Yeah, sure. You don't want to do over 10 turns for a faction that's probably going to die here very soon. You just take all the money that you can and let them die. So I do it anyway. We've lost a silk trader, I know. Sima's young commander that vassal drew real during the war against Sima Mo. <laughs> Sima Ying signed peace with Sima Mo. Sima Shi signed peace with Song Wei. Sima Yan formed a coalition with Song Wei. Sima Kuo is now dutiful. Excellent. Shi Chao is now artful. Good. Reduce penalty of desire for higher office. What does our family look like right now? Oh, yes. Let it expand. Two strategists. I'm proud. <laughs> So proud of my boys. Remain or girls. Poised. Whatever they may be. So Simo Yue is backing off. May thankfully. Blow. Strike quickly. Close victory. Wasn't the garrison crap? Planning ensured victory. You almost killed my heroes. My this generals. Location suits our plans. Our punishment is kind of growing steadily. For harmony. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, we have food problems. Probably going to pop the treasury up once. There we go. Be humble, how does, that, how does this make the public order? Not that. I am not able to locate the button. It's right here. Oh, look. We're still positive in most places. Good. Let's see. Wow. You are really all big on noble support. Why do you even have that, though? I mean, I get they're trying to increase the commerce, but I don't see why. <laughs> I guess we'll get rid of this. Because we don't have any industry. We're mostly peasantry. Oops. Nah, whatever. Let's see. I do like the temple. Temple's a good one to build. That's kind of a late game building, I feel like. So we're peasantry and commerce. School wouldn't be bad. Let's build the temple. Should probably build the garrison, but you know what? 
Temple first. Wudu. Oh, man. <laughs> they don't want to lose it. Unify in one direction. You need to continue on against our foes. Wait a minute. You're swinging all the way around. This is dirty. This is very dirty. I don't like it. I love me some cataphracts, but this is dirty. How can I even get over here? Do I have to turn around to defend? We are as one. Hmm. This is getting questionable. Oh my goodness. It looks like we'll turn around with Simaing. And there's some Mo. Yeah, we'll turn around with Simaing. Oh, probably should have stayed here. Yeah. Sit in the city. Good. No trade. I think I checked that already, but I just want to check again. China needs heroes. Yes! Aw. I was hoping he'd be able to bring them in, but it appears they could not. Nope. Now, I, I do enjoy juggling vassalage. You can abuse vassalage to uh, drop all of your wars and such, but um, I don't think we're going to do much of that. Now, this whole silk thing is getting a little complicated because people are fighting over my silk traitors. My goal is still to build the Silk Road. Don't get me wrong. Sima Jian has been destroyed. Poor guy. Sima Zhao requested Shan Yu to join the war against Sima Chong. Sima Wei requested their master Sima Liang to go to war against Fan Shou. Poor guy. He said peace with Sima Ai. Hey, you dragged me into that. Yo Ying Shou joined a war against Sima Liang against Bai Jin. The Empress demands retribution. One of your more error-prone retainers has unintentionally offended the Empress. She now demands a formal, groveling apology. Yet your comrade insists that they did nothing to warrant such a thing. You could apologize in their place or reject her demands. Well, Shin Yueon is one of our newer characters. I do like being in favor, though. How's our wealth looking? We could compensate her. Haven't we had this dilemma before? In favor is such a good buff. I mean, personally, I don't think Samaying would make Shen Yuan apologize. I'm not going to refuse, though. Twenty turns. We'll compensate her. The Empress sh can surely be appeased in other ways. Issuing the apology you simply paid to make the problem go away. Because in history, Sima Ying offended the Empress. Because there's actually someone who was insulting Respect the Emperor's honor. Done. And Sima Ying wasn't going to let that rest, you know? So I firmly believe that he wouldn't, Push he forward. would not apologize. Victory belongs to us. Yeah. Give me Wudu. Did I pull this army in? Yes. Finally. We won with integrity. Now let us celebrate with abandon. We have captured Chong Zhenjin. Now, concerned, obstinate, perceptive, and trusting. These aren't bad traits. But unfortunately, we do not require more strategists. Part of me wants to execute her in revenge for Gu Yan Yan, but only one person in their faction Free them all. deserves to be executed, and that is Sima Wei himself. Actually, it's probably no. this army, Liu Shen. Oh, good, he retreated. Deflect with shield, cleave with sword. 
I think we could hold if they attack us. Some nice axes. Some lovely axes. What's this? We unlocked a feather as well. Oh. You don't feel like an officer. Troops. I think we'll put Shin Yuan here. Wait, not this one. This one. There you go. In Wudu. Confirm. Now that should make her plenty happy. She is satisfied. General discontent, lack of purpose, desires. Okay, so this should... Well, actually, I think the administrator is only for... F level 4. Hmm. Commerce, soak, and spice. Yes, we're putting you here soon. Soon, soon, soon. Samaying is coming back. Contact. Everything is going well. I'd love to start replacing these. But money. Money is a thing. Here you go. More of this. Woo-do. Become happy. More food. There we go. Onward. Now we do have to remember, food increases income from peasantry faction-wide. So it's always a good thing to have on hand. There goes our silk trader. Rip. He's coming at me. Oh, he's an ambush. Cheeky lad. That's fine. We can either... Well, I don't want to trigger it. Triggering it is very risky. I kind of like it, though. There is Emperor Wu. Former Emperor Wu. Hmm. Oh, you really want me to do this. So Shima Chong is right here. You're likely to join the war against Sima... This guy. Zhao. Okay. Where is he in this list? Sima, 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 Zhao. He doesn't have a very good opinion of us, I don't think. He is allied with Shan Yu. Do we have peace with Shan Yu? I think we do. Maybe we don't. Who was I dealing with again? Sima Chong. There's so many Sima people. I've lost. There we go. What are you willing to give me for this? Is the real question. Oh, we're currently receiving money from you. Can I add on to that with that? I didn't think I could actually request a payment. If I already had one rolling. But anyway. <laughs> it's like, no, that's too much. Honestly, I'm willing to do this. Actually, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I am. Who knows? You know what? I think I am. Just kidding. I wanted to, but what I'm thinking is that we will claim our side of the river. Hold on. Simo Wei, Commander Masu, Yuan Sheng, Shen during the war against Simo Yue. We lost the Silk Trader. Very depressing. Simo Yong declared war on the Jin Empire. Our technology is completed. I love this faster research. So we'll go here, I guess. This one. I think it's more important. Um, so my plan here is to claim... Is this the... Yonkse River? I think it is. So we claim everything in our little corner here. Right? Hongzhen is our ally. It's close enough. So we're clearing all this crap out. And then if we were at war with Sima Zhao, he could kind of just come down the river and attack us. So we're going to claim all this and hopefully go north. Break our treaty with Xiang Xingli. And uh, play around up here. I would like to go to war with her as well, Yo Yingzhu, but uh, she's a vassal at the moment, and that isn't happening. A lapping tide erodes stone. Now, our good Martin. friends, in parentheses, 
is ambushed right here somewhere. So if I go north, I don't think it'll trigger. And then I let him take the town again. Can I reach this? I can. Do not yield! All right, here we go. I'll let him take the town, whatever. The Soak Trader is far more important. Valiant defeat. We are going to starve them out because they'll probably Do come and fight us. And that'll be way easier than fighting them inside the city. And Samaying is to react with coming this way. Uh, we want to replenish, so we won't force march anything. We want to upgrade anything, though. Hanjong City is... Wait a minute. <laughs> um, I made a boo-boo. If I just miss her this turn, will she go... Oh, no, we can just do it this way. We're going to lose this town. It's fine. Raise... What's her face? Poised to strike. Yeah, put her here. Ex summon the merchants. Oh. I would browse their goods. I've never heard that in the female voice. It's so good. So good. And now she's not gonna die. Excellent. Problem averted. We could even upgrade her retinue. Just because. For when we put her back, you know? Fayi is discontent. A few things are on our side. Have a feather. Good. Wei Guy has leveled up. Hmm, what do we want? I think he's going to be doing missions more so than anything else. Counteract corruption, industrial exploitation. Those are both very good. Unbreakable. If he has any local commandery stuff too. That'd work, but I don't think he does. Just go this way. Down the line. Alright. Do we have any trade? We don't have any trade deals open. Unfortunately. So we could invest in that uh, technology. See, he wants peace. But I'm not giving him peace. He executed Gu Yan Yan. Hey. I read him like a book. This is more than our struggle. It is China's. It is. Come, friend. Let us take the fight to them. Sounds good to me. Technically, they're bringing the I fight advise to caution. us. We do not yet know our enemy. But okay. We shall stand amongst their broken corpses before long. Wow. I like it. Okay. Let's take a look at our advisor. Luji. Lovely fan. Nice hat, too. Alright. Everyone is here. Let us get our front line of axes. I don't know where the enemy is going to be. I imagine they'll deploy kind of here-ish. Maybe they'll just come straight out as soon as. I certainly don't. But you, we kind of want them back. Because they are very weak against missiles. I mean, so are these guys. We'll hold the Chu back a little bit. Because the G are more fodder-like than, you know, these guys. No, I don't want one of you. There we go. These are only Archer Militia, but Luji has so much cunning. They do have a sizable amount of ammunition in their quivers. Alright, now the calf. Here's our crappy calf. These will be chasing archers. And our cataphracts that will be breaking the front line. I don't actually know what is best. I've never seen this before. Huh. So I guess we're going to try and do this. Two by two. See how that works out. And we do have Chi Shung for duels. Fa Yi is not much of a duelist, I don't think. And we are going to fast forward. There might even be some editing involved. Enemy reinforcements are arriving. The enemy is in a very strange formation. 
after about five minutes, <laughs> they have appeared over the horizon, very clumped up. They're lucky my trebuchet can't shoot that far. Catapult. Catapult. Trebuchet. They say catapult, but it is a trebuchet. Same thing, I guess. And it is currently shooting at the militia, which is not the greatest target. Our men are spotted. Wow, really? The time has come. I did put everyone on fire arrows and flaming shot for the trebuchet, because I don't think there's anything too heavy here. I mean, the two spearmen are the only heavy. Oh, well, there are a few of them, though, aren't there? But the explosive shot, or flaming shot, does have some armor piercing explosive. It'll be fine, probably. See if we can get these guys out of here. The enemy run. Craven. They are Craven. I'm going to bring one of these guys up. See if they can do anything. I don't really want to be shooting into my own units. Shishong. Go. I will defeat you. Kill him. It is another sentinel, but it's just a weaker one. Steal yourselves. March at the double. Steal yourselves. We don't want to use this quite yet. Move! Move! Make ready! The two spearmen are slowly coming to reinforce. And poke them. Poke off those. Are piercing. Nah. Uh, I don't know what's better, honestly. Make ready! Hurry! Okay, Move. go this way. We want to try and get these guys Die. around. I will around crush the spears. you for this insult! Uh, Run! We got caught a little bit. Run! Run! We have to the enemy warriors are running. Ha! Move out micro them a little bit Double more than time. I want to. Destroy them. Shishung is handling this pretty well. He's about to win. With our double axes. I would pop our ability, Stand but I'm ready. waiting for the frontline clash. The enemy general is fallen. They were no match. Yep. Easy. Ready. That has enraged our two, the two strategists, but they Double are just time. strategists, so I'm not that concerned. Time. Do not relent. Stand ready. We do have the morale debuff, which will wait. We definitely want ready. to use that when we are charging in. Lose. Actually, you Force guys should go over here again. Attack. Attack. There's the charge. You are weak. Ready. Good charge. Yes, yes, good. Charge. It is good. I mean, assuming we're winning, then it's good. Show no mercy. Attend. Yeah, see, they're all broken now because of the charge and the shout combo. Very good combo. Take heed, warriors. Cavalry. I'm glad we had it. Move to okay, we need to run from the spears. Run, please. Stand ready. Luigi. Look. The enemy run is in the thick of it. Raven. Do you have the? Do you have the ceremonial sword? So it doesn't have the greatest sword for this. Oh, you used your thing. Make ready. At the ready. That's fine. We'll just hunt you. Yourselves. You're next. Ready. Attack. The time has come. Need to this, please. We do have a Cavalry. bit of stuff out Stand here still. Ready. So we can focus fire our archers a little the bit. Are running. Ha! Unleash no, fury. That's fine. Ready. Strategist is fleeing, but we're to hopefully killing them. No. Destroy them. Do not let Take her get away. Well, just try and surround that guy with the spiky spears. Spiky spears. March at the, double. the pokey end of the stick goes into the enemy. The time has come. Cavalry men. The enemy general is fallen. They were no match. Oh, Down it goes. What a shame. Prepare. Oh yes, yeah, a real shame. I think Prepare. cataphracts might be a bit Ready. of an overkill for the strategist, but that's what he's about to run into. To Ooh. attention. Not looking good. All right, let's start shooting. Oh, that was a pretty good shot. Make ready. Water overcomes all. Pretty good focus fire on these two spearmen. This guy's very close to death. Strike. Where are my other cav? Ready to ride. Chasing One that. Step Chasing this. Good. Ready. 
They're all breaking the before the might of they Luigi. No match. What? Yes, no they should be. Fight? We should probably try and chase down the Chu Spearmen, because they are the stronger parts of this army. But, uh, you know. Maybe we'll let them live. Maybe we won't. Sitsuno, please go this way. Yes. Nothing chasing on this side, unfortunately. Because we're a bit lazy. Oh well. I might just accept that they've escaped. But they've gotten away with their pathetic lives. Go that way, cataphracts. Go this way. Blue G, keep chasing. Oh, they've all gotten away. No, it's just this. G Militia. Poor G Militia. Not even worth chasing down. And the AI said it was a valiant defeat. Look at those cataphracts. 248. 209. 225 on the trebuchet. Mm, looking good. When justice triumphs, revelry awaits. We have captured Gong Soon Hong. Oh, I kind of won his robes. He is dutiful, brilliant, cunning, and scarred. He's Osworn with Simoe. This is a message to Simoe for killing my people. Such is the price for betrayal. Lipe. Concerns, feared, and lumbering. And lame. We could employ him. What do you got? Chu Spearman. Dao Sword Guard. Chu Spearman. Hmm. He's probably not going to be happy that we just executed Gong Sung Hong. We'll release him. It would be unjust to punish them further. I think I'm going to take the money. Let the 10% the replenishment is really tempting, though. Now, it is interesting because we took the city of Wudu and then in one turn assaulted the Soak Trader. And he could very well do the same. So maybe we should have taken their punishment. We've lost the city of Wudu. Song Wei requested Sima Yan to join their war against Ruan Shun. <laughs> Another noble birth and Sima Lei. Oh, I like that name. Birds drown in the river. Several bodies of drowned birds are found in the river one morning. One of our generals believes that things of the air found dead in the water is a sign of the changing of the sky. Whether the omen is good or bad is unknown to them, only that some profound change is coming. But we got the bad omen. To war! Debuff. Let's hope that this doesn't bite us in is due. the ass. Let the wine flow! Our dominion grows. I'd like my soap trader back. I wish I could you you could uh, force repairs in one turn. No. Oh, he can also reach it just barely. Hold the center. Fortunate. Overwhelm them. Now, Yuan Shengzhen has been very quiet, but that is not going to spare her from my wrath. Lu Ji and Fa Yi are now friends, Ji Shang and Fa Yi are now friends, and Fa Yi and Lai Bei are now rivals. That was the person we didn't kill. But Lu Ji, you have some awesome robes, don't you? You sure do. Who needs some robes? Does my wife need some robes? My beloved Zhong Li Zhu, she does. Here you go. You look much better. I like your hat. It's a good hat. This needs to go on you. Wait a minute. Yeah. Are you still the administrator? You are. I think. Yeah. Never Good. Yield. I think she's staying right there. And hopefully this replenishment goes pretty quick. Because I'm afraid that uh, Liu Shin is coming at me. Pretty quickly. With a vengeance. But, that is where we are going to end 
for today's episode. Do we grand guest house? A lot of things have changed. Simo Wei has earned our ire, and we are going to take everything that is his because of it. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and that you look forward to the continuation of our beloved governor's ascension to the Jin Dynasty next time. Bye-bye.